DJ DJs writes, Greetings, Collider Video. Love the show. Been a fan since your AMC Movie News days. Thank I was you. always wondering why so many movies have poor marketing plans. I think that Deadpool has done some of the best marketing in the last 10 years to try and get people interested in the movie. Just want to know what you think about it because everything that Deadpool has done so far has just made me want to see it more. Marketing is a strange and funny thing, man. Look, I... I will jump all over a movie, like whether it's uh, uh, John Carter of Mars or whatever like that, and hammer studios for bad marketing. But that's because they're marketing professionals. I do not underestimate how terribly difficult that job is because it is a business, yet it is also an art in many ways because you are trying to emotionally connect with people, whether it's excitement, emotion, uh, dramatic emotion, whatever. you're trying to get people hooked on this film. And look, it's the same thing about movies. Like People say, why didn't they just make a good movie of that? And I say, they wanted to. Believe me when I tell you they tried. The, you know, Every time a director gets behind the camera, every time a, a screenwriter sits down and pens something out, they are trying to write something the best they can. They are trying to commit or create something the best that they can. And I even believe in these horrible marketing campaigns, you've got a creative group of people who are doing their damn best. And look, Mark tells some really bad jokes. What? I mean, some of his material is <laughs> awful, but I believe that when he says it, he believes in it, and he's thinking, I crafted this joke, it's gonna kill, and he puts it out there, and it doesn't. Look, I have written some very bad episodes of Movie Talk, but when I wrote it, I thought it was good. I, I mean, I, I write it, I think this is going to work. This will come across well. This will flow really smooth. It'll be informative and entertaining. And it turns out to be shit. That happens sometimes. And Mark Tiles, 10 times you know, more funny jokes than he does ones that don't work. I'm surprised Probably people more. laugh at any of the crap that comes out of my mouth, <laughs> to be honest with you. The fact that I'm batting is a 300 means the world to me, guys. I mean, look how bad The Death of Superman Lives was. But yeah. he tried. I tried. <laughs> he right? tried. But I mean, that's the same thing with with these marketing people. They they always try, and, and then it's magic when it... And look, this thing with Deadpool, as we're all sitting around going, why can't more movies just do it like Deadpool? This Deadpool thing is freaking lightning in a bottle. I've mm. never seen anything like it and how much they have crushed it. And you can't do with Deadpool, like with what's with something coming out here, <clears throat> with the finest hours. Right. You can't have Chris Pine and you know Casey Affleck swimming in a pool going, oh no, I'm gonna drown. Like you <laughs> cracking can't, jokes. Cracking jokes. Breaking the fourth wall, I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you know. can't do that. So it's a very unique situation of creativity, the subjectivity of it, hitting home, uh, hitting a home run, while also making sure you're doing it appropriate to the movie that you're trying to market. It is a fine science and art all in one. And why we will crap on people who do a bad job at it, because that's what we do, because we also praise the ones who do great, let's not underestimate how difficult of a job it is. It is nigh impossible. That's why I'm so freaking impressed. Like, I don't mean to oversell Deadpool, but that's why you see me get so freaking impressed and overwhelmed when we see a marketing campaign like this that is being so masterfully executed to get us all on board and talking about. Anyway, Mark, your thoughts on this whole marketing thing? I mean, look, publicity and marketing are very hard things to do well. It's not an easy job to come on camera and say that I'll be at Uncle Morty's comedy joint <laughs> Thursday and Friday in Indianapolis this weekend, but I can do it. I can pull it off. You know, some of the other marketing campaigns that this actually, this question made me think of the ones that I did like over the years more than the ones I thought were awful was uh, Cloverfield had a pretty cool marketing strategy. Totally. And District 9 also. And maybe it's Excellent. easier to do it with superhero science fiction movies than it is just your run-of-the-mill film. The worst marketing campaign I've ever seen, maybe not the worst overall campaign, but the worst billboard I've ever seen in my life was the one for the Robert De Niro, Sylvester Stallone boxing movie Grudge Match, mm. where driving all around Hollywood, you see these billboards and it just looked like somebody photoshopped their two faces on just two normal dad bodies in a ring. And it never looked realistic. <laughs> And I'm telling you, I think it hurt the movie. I agree. I mean, John Carter was another one. Of Mars? No, like, get rid of that. Don't just have him a red background and some apes and jumping. That was like, <laughs> what is it? And it's John Carter. No one knew what it was. Or like I said, a, a, a it's a movie about or, a lawyer from Buffalo. Yeah, it's really hard. To, I mean, Deadpool <laughs> has been crushing it. And you can see my film, The Death of Superman Lives. What happened on Showtime? <laughs> it's on Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's, just look at Showtime. As well as uh, TDOSLWH.com, you can get a digital download. But Deadpool, ladies and gentlemen, that poster is one of my favorites. It's basically mm -hmm. double ad campaigning. It's taking something everyone knows about, which is Batman v Superman, and the brand new posters for it, and defacing them with other really amazing things like the Heath Ledger Joker with Deadpool giving you a little wink. 
I mean, I think everything that the Deadpool people, uh, whoever they are, including Ryan Reynolds, are just crushing it. Every single thing they do, including that Australia Day one, which I watch at least was every great. other day I watch it because <laughs> it makes me laugh when he freaks out with the hat. I mean, every single thing they're doing is masterful. And right down to the mom who's like, my little kid Timmy, who's eight years old, should they should make a PG-13. And Deadpool's response to the mom and the kid as goes down in history. Yeah. I mean, it's what literally. Can, I can, you can, can I say, say it? it? You can say it. I, said, Just be warned. Be warned. Here, yeah. here comes a, people who are really easy, easily offended. Mute your stuff. Basically, the mom was like, "Little Timmy wants to see Deadpool. He's and he can't see it. Please make a PG-13." I wrote a petition with people's names. Had about two thousand. Deadpool cranked in there. He's like, "Listen, uh, Deadpool is going to be rated R, and uh, Timmy, fuck you, and your mom's a whore." <laughs> That's what a Deadpool's response was. It was incredible. <laughs> Holy yeah. God. That's and a... you're like, this movie is rated R, and I cannot wait to see it. You and know what? Uh, well, one of the Movie Talk fans tweeted me this morning. I don't know. Do you guys know the Deadpool? Apparently, Deadpool, his Twitter account, only follows one Twitter account. Do you know who it is? No. Oh. Yes, my yeah, my Hello Kitty. Yeah, Hello Kitty is the <laughs> oh only my gosh, person that's that they follow. Same thing as Ashley Mova. <laughs> <by the way. laughs> now here's now here's the thing too. This can be a double-edged sword too, because while on the one hand they're doing such a masterful job with all this marketing and it's getting more people interested in this movie than I ever thought was possible, here's the other side of that coin. It is also raising our expectations. A lot. Because mm -hmm. before you just told me, hey, they're going to do Deadpool. It's going to be rated R. I'm like, all right, man, that can be fun. I am now, even though I do not choose to do this, when I evaluate my own mindset right now, I'm walking in expecting maybe the funniest film I've seen in the last five or six <laughs> years. So while on, on the good side, it's like, yes, more people interested. On the bad side, though, I am now walking in. Because before, if I walked in Deadpool, just give me a little bit of entertainment, a couple of good laughs, some good dirty jokes, and I'll walk out satisfied. That won't cut it for me now because you've done such a good job of right. raising my... I'm expecting the comic book movie of the year now. I'm expecting something amazing that I'm going to be talking about my friends with for years. And maybe that's not such a good thing. I think my expectations are Watch so high. Wolverine Origins first. Yes. Everyone, we should have a group like watch it the day before Deadpool. Just watch Wolverine Origins, <laughs> then go see Deadpool. And we'll be very happy. I'm and then we'll be sure. so very, very happy. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.